let's get back to the main story. And we'll speak with Hermes again to take on the next level 86 main story quest entitled Ether to Ether. Something seems to be weighing on Hermes' mind. I think we know what it is. Tell me, Rika, in the course of watching me, have you learned aught of value? Nothing so far, but I'm hoping that'll change. Dynamis seems promising. Well, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I don't think I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but I don't think I've found it yet. Well, yeah, let, let's ask about the Dynamis. Dynamis, you say? Curious that such an obscure phenomenon should be of interest to you. Well, you did bring it up. Also, hello there. Chief Hermes, what good fortune to find you here. Is something the matter? The Lycon, I'm afraid it's done it again. No sooner do we release one for observation than it's set upon the nearby occupants, slaughtering them. Oh no. Was the creature hungry or somehow provoked? I had just fed them myself, and the occupants were keeping a wide berth. It is the nature of the Lycon that is to blame. The innate viciousness. Temperament aside, it is an outstanding creation, perfect in form and function. Though it may not be suited for release, I have no doubt that the Bureau will accept its concept for preservation. In any, uh, in any case, there is no point in postponing the inevitable. Doros will revert them all once the paperwork is in order. Where is the scene of the incident? Somewhere out there. Just off the path to the Twelve Wonders. As you make your way, you should see it on the left. I don't know if those are still there, however. Yeah, we better get moving. Her Hermes, wait! Yeah, best we get, guess we better go follow. Because there's a problem here in Alpus. If this is part of his work, then I would observe. We follow. Alright. Yeah, I can deal with that. Yeah, we actually convinced Emmett Stuck to get the lead out. Alright, let's go. Meanwhile, while I'm in the neighborhood. Yeah, let's get the let's pick up the ether current first. I imagine that the ether current will be perched in the back of the building somehow. So let's go get that first. Close to it. Um, or is it directly beneath me? Oh, it's right there. Then let's pick it up. And incidentally enough, we're heading west anyway, so. Well, it's more southwest than west, but, you know. It also does a fate in progress. Now we'll have to leave that for another time. So that's what an Occupede looks like. It's only a very colorful creature. But we're here to find out why something is killing them as much as they are. That's our reason for going where we're going. So as we get over here to the scene of the incident. The lacerations and burns are unmistakable. Our Lycon was indeed responsible. But if the creature is nowhere to be seen, Doros must have taken it away. The man makes his base at the Twelve Wonders. I shall go and seek him out there. Emmet Stark and I will search the area for good measure just to make sure the Lycon did not escape. My thanks. Let us meet at the Twelve Wonders when you are finished. I will go on ahead. Please follow with Rika. Alright then. Oh, new fate spawns. Come! Come, it's down this path and over the bridge! Better get moving then. Yeah, we'll catch up with you guys later.
Meanwhile. Oh, there's the one 180 south of here. Okay. Probably perched up there. Oh, can I get there? Yes. And there it is. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So I assume that there will be one over the bridge. Yeah, it says 340 to the west, so this will be on the next island where there is also an Aether current. Uh, or rather, an Aether right, rather. And also, yes, that is a monster. Well, I guess it's not a monster in their eyes, at least not yet. So across the bridge over to another island. And looks like we found some grips. Yeah, Griffin Precursors. Medion. Lerti is the Twelve Wonders. Hermes is looking for Doros. Let's look for Doros, too. He's a man with long blonde hair, I think. I'll know him when I see him. And so now Medion accompanies us again. Are there any Aether Currents close by? Well, there is one 68 East. Okay, yeah, we'll pick that one up right there. It's pretty close by. Might as well take it while we're in the neighborhood. No reason not to. Alright, tune to this. And that almost looks like a... Kind of an attempt at a blue whale in the background? Except it's purple. Any others over here? Yep, there is. But first, let's find our man. Yeah, let's find Doros. And while we're also here, we'll also attune to the Aetherite. Okay, so... We know that Doros is blonde. So, we'll head on over here first to tune to the Aetherite. Well, it looks like we may have found him. Yep, blonde-haired man. That's the guy. Doros! That's Doros! Well now, if it isn't Meteon, what brings you here? Let's find out. <laughs> well, actually, we already know, but we've got to explain to him. Ah, I thought I heard familiar voices. I didn't realize you two had decided to help me search for Doros. Thank you. Glad we could help. You are in charge of the Lycons, I believe. Where are they now? Out in the fields in restraints. Frenzied as they were, I couldn't well return them to Kittisis. Once I submit him my reports, I'll see them averted without delay. As the others arrive on scene, it is as he says, the beasts are indeed quite ferocious. Y you're one of the fourteen! What brings you here? Nothing you need concern yourself with, as you were. We heard the news that a Lycon slaughtered Okapeets. As the Observer in charge, you are of the opinion that they are not fit to be released? Aye, I, I am. Their noble aggression and exceptional strength makes for a highly problematic combination. It matters not where they are released, Lycons would threaten other species and upset the natural order. Could it be that the specimens observed are an outlier? Apparently not. Highly unlikely. We've created a good many of them. All exhibited the same tendencies. And you couldn't be bothered to alter those tendencies in any way? Even when we used Kairos to begin with a fresh slate, their behavior was unchanged. Kairos? Yeah, tell us about it. A memory reconfiguration system. The chief himself created it. It allows us to erase or alter memories that we may observe creations in different environmental conditions without needing to remake them from scratch. Quite impressive, and potentially dangerous. Depending on the intensity of the Aetheric Commissions, Pashtorot may wish to have words with you. Was it Pashtoro? 
best assured I've kept all values within prescribed limits. And to prevent misuse, its applications are limited to those authorized by the Chief Overseer. Do not misunderstand. To manipulate a subject's memories is an intrusive act I deeply abhor. But it is still preferable to execution. Come now, Chief, let's not be so melodramatic. What was born of Aether is simply being reduced to its original state. I know the distinctions concern you, but we mustn't lose sight of the bigger picture, making rational choices for the sake of a more prosperous star. If a creation cannot properly be studied, even with the aid of Kairos, we remake it. If a creation is deemed a detrimental existence, we unmake it. Tis all for the greater good, and none question the necessity of such routine processes. Except for Hermes, apparently. I understand these things, I do. I would never think to unleash a clear and, un and undeniable threat into the world. Yet insignificant though their individual lives may be next to all creation, it is all the Lycons have. Before we seal their fates, we owe it to these beings to exhaust all options, to ensure that nothing has been overlooked. If you insist, let me provide you with a full report and we may take it from there. Yeah, this is how business is conducted. Would it be possible for us to attend the discussion that Emmett Sok may very ca better carry out his duties? By all means. Pray show them to the meeting room. And so away we go. Meanwhile, yeah, something's weighing on Medion's mind. Look how sad she is. Yeah, I think she realizes they're within Hermes. To man, other beings are just beings. To be used and controlled like magic. And that's what Hermes told me once. So, we'll take our experience. 851 gil plus some level 86 shoes. And then we'll go ahead and speak with Hermes again to take on the next level 86 main story quest entitled A Sentimental Gift. You needn't be an intellect to feel the weight bearing down on Hermes. I fear this discussion may take a while, during which time. Yeah, try and cheer Medion up. Meteon, are you feeling unwell? It's not me, Hermes, it's you! I won't go to the meeting. I'll stay with Rika. Loath though I am to impose, may I leave Meteon in your care again? I guess. Yeah, leave it to me. I'm in your debt, if you'll excuse me. Hi right there, Meteon. Where do you want to go? Can you help me with something, Rika? The meeting will make Hermes sad. I want to cheer him up with a flower. Hermes likes flowers the most, of all the creations in Elpis. Most creations are expected to be interesting or beautiful or strong, better in some way. But flowers are different, they're designed to suit our emotions. What we feel and want to convey, Hermes likes that. I can't make flowers, so I'll search for one, and I want you to search with me. Let's start here at the Twelve Wonders. And Medion accompanies us again. We have two places we can look at. Meanwhile, we can also check for a possible another Aether Current. I think that one may be just outside of the territory, so I'm actually going to wait until we're done with this quest to look for that one. We come across this tree in bloom and see the flowers that are on it. Let's go ahead and mime our way to picking some. Vibrant purple flowers bigger than your hands adorn the tree. Oh, so big and bright, I love them! But they might be too bright. You have to think of the recipient. That's what Hermes said. Alright. And then there appear to be flowers on this slender tree. Let's see what waits us here. A tall, slender tree rises before you. You crane your neck to look for flowers. Although... 
Yeah, it is kind of hard to see any, but yeah, they're way, they're way up. No flowers. If there were apples, we could have covered them in syrup. Oh, I thought. Yeah, the the different colors look like flowers, but no, they're just autumnal leaves. Let's head outside next. Don't worry, we won't wander far. All right. Now we're going north. Into the flower bed. Yeah, there are enemies, but they are docile. So let's have a look. An array of beautiful flowers grows in the bed. They're a mix of colors forming a pattern. Let's see if what. If, yeah, yeah, you can kind of see it. We actually saw it in the Academia dungeon. These would be better for Hermes, but they're hedged in. That means we shouldn't touch them. They're either under observation or poisonous. Which is then followed by, why would the Asians create poisonous flowers? Any other place to be found though? Let's keep looking. Yeah, why would you, why would you make poisonous flowers? Well, over here we have a familiar plant. Yeah, as in an enemy. Yeah, I don't think we want to uproot this thing. Set on a tall, thin stalk, the oddly shaped flower is mesmerizing in its undulations. Oh, a coming on! A flower that can move! When Hermes wasn't looking, it shot seeds at him! Not a good gift, maybe. <laughs> I don't think so either. But you're good, weak at spotting flowers. We'll find something soon. I hope you're right. Yeah. Don't hurt the butterflies, and they won't hurt you. You know, 120 from where we currently are. Get around the corner here. Oh. Yeah, you know, we're just standing out in the middle of the road. You spy nothing promising nearby. At best, common looking grasses with some few tiny flowers. Hmm, nothing around here. Ah! Over there, Rika! Something big! Huge! What have you spotted? Yeah, I was behind you. A warble? Um, how about no? Uh, I, I don't think we want to touch this one there, Medion. Oh my god, a morbol. <laughs> um, yeah, where's the Aether Current? There you are. Yeah, let's at least pick this up first. We're in the neighborhood, we might as well get it. But, oh my god, a more bowl? Yeah, that's no shortage of scary. Also, yeah, I need to reactivate FC actions. There we go. And so, around the corner we go. Yeah, good lord there, Medion. Why would you want this thing? I mean, look, let's have a look at its mouth, shall we? This this is not your run-of-the-mill Morbo. I mean, we've seen Morbo's with blooming on them before, but look what's attached to its teeth! Th this is a Morbo to the nth degree and then some. Th that is one scary sight right there. Yikes. Yeah, now odorous grass. Let's look at this. A terrible stench reminiscent of sodden old boots pervades the air. Without a doubt, the culprit is the morbid like creature before you. No kidding! It's an Adonis! The things around its mouth look like petals, but the flowers are the orbs on its head. When Hermes inspected it, it swallowed him up! Oh, Her Hermes, why do you like getting yourself in danger, man? He didn't leave his room for days. What do you think, Rika? Would he like it? I don't think so. Yeah, it's probably not the good sort of memory, or I'd rather not go near that thing. Yeah, it's not a good sort of memory for either of us. So not this one either. 
finding a good flower. It's harder than I thought. I'm sorry, Rika, but can we search a little more? Maybe as far as the fields over there. I'll pick something after that, I promise. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta ask my FC member a question. Yeah, I also gotta stay away from feral opponents. But incidentally, we gotta get right in its line of fire. We reveal another part of the map, so we've covered everything over here in 12 Wonders, as far as the map is concerned. And so, lush green fields stretch out before you, ending where the sky begins. Oh, there's nothing. I see a whole bunch of something. The shiny thing over there! What could it be? Well, why don't we go find out? Shiny object. Yeah, but yeah. Thank you for the... Thank you for... Um... Just giving them some assurance there. So, yeah. What's this shiny object? I almost all these flowers that apparently aren't flowers. Oh, is it more of the emotion flowers? Oh, Alpha's flowers! They're here too! Yep, we were right. Hermes likes and dislikes them at the same time. Like me, the interlucky's. Like me, they feel his pain and turn dark. That's only for Hermes, though. For others, they're always white and bright. That's weird. Yeah, flashback. So how do we deal with that? Yeah, let me tell you about my experience. Truly? The flower was dark in your home? Then... Do you have it too? A dark emotion? Yeah, <laughs> how do we respond with this? I know the pain of sword and loss. I felt great fury and frustration. I've been plagued by doubt and anxiety. Or, yeah, I, d I dare say I have a few. You don't have to say it. I can feel it's, it's something you want to hide. But you won't lend it to me? The darkness inside you? Why would I do that? I want you to make the flower dark in front of Hermes. Why? He's been in a dark place since before he created me. He needs to know that he isn't there alone. That others are saw too. Yeah, we're starting to see, I guess, the cracks within him. Yep. I'll do what I can. Truly, you'll do it? Yeah. I would do anything for a sweet little creature like you. Thank you, Rika, thank you! It means more to me than I can say! I can't wait to see how Hermes reacts. Let's go back and fetch him! Alright, so she's on her way back. And we will return to the Twelve Wonders Gate of Rights. Okay, so more side quests are now popping up in and around here now. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and speak with Medion. It seems they're still talking. Let's wait until they've finished. Alright then. So, later that night... The door opens and the discussion is over. 
It's Hermes who emerges out first. Hermes! I yeah, hi there. I feel like she just wants to hug him. Oh, you were waiting for me. Well, we had nothing better to do. You finished talking? Yes, we've come to a decision. And? My thanks for keeping me to your company. You're welcome. Emmett Selk and Hithlidaeus have already retired to their rooms. There is room for you too, if you would follow me. Oh, I thank you. Wait! I want to show you something first. Yeah. Show him what you need to there, Medion. Oh, we're all walking out to the little patch. Elpis flowers? Go on. Yeah. How, how do we trigger this? Yeah. Go into the recesses of your mind. And they go purple. <sighs> Only one, Hermes. Others feel sad too. You're not alone. I see Mision has shared much with you. Oh, yeah, she has. And so, oh, you're going to show me your face? Yeah, it'd be nice to see who's behind that mask. Hi there. May we talk a moment? Of course. Oh, and now fireflies are on the scene. Thankfully, good fireflies. And then we have a porcupine showing up. Yeah, don't pet it, whatever you do. I do not think it wrong that we live for the star, that we strive to make it a better place. But? And yet, in carrying out my duties here, there are times when I am plagued by doubt. Do you recall what Hithlidae said when we first spoke of my nomination? Death is the privilege of those who have fulfilled their purpose, a choice they embrace of their own free will. And when they depart, it is always beautiful. Perhaps it is. But only for man. What are you getting at? Creations that he deems useless are discarded with nary a second thought. Yeah, he just loves everything here. It's a little too much. Some scarcely born into the world. Afforded a handful of breaths before life and potential are abruptly extinguished. We make an effort to spare them the pain. But they sense what awaits. Rage and anguish and power and fear. And it is not beautiful. Some people can just be so rude. Yet no one cares. No one. Yeah, the, you're the only one who cares for everything here. So fixated are we upon the duty that we do not pause to question the method. Pain and suffering, confusion and despair, writ plain in the eyes of those poor creatures. Yet no one sees. We turn a blind eye and carry on in blissful ignorance. Not amiss. And always, always the blossoms shine pure and white. A contradiction so blatant I could scream, want to scream. How can you all accept this aberration? Then I wonder, am I the aberration for thinking thus? And I am filled with dread. But now I know I'm not alone. 
not the only one for whom the flowers weep. Owen asked what you thought as he kneeled beside the Alpis. Or if you only did it at Meteon's insistence. You figured that out pretty easily, didn't you? Can't get anything past you, can I? I thank you. To know that you too have experienced suffering is a comfort. Well, for what it's worth, we've certainly made Emmett Selk suffer since he showed up. Glad I could be of service, or let's have me no more brooding, A, eh? or oh, I could tell you all about suffering. <laughs> but yeah, he ne Do we perk him up, or do we just make him feel more sympathetic? Yeah, l no more brooding. Indeed. Difficult though it may be, I must endeavor to be strong like you. I'm glad you appreciate what I have. The stars in the heavens. Know you what they are? The deceased people of the Convocation? As well as everyone else? Though it is too far to tell, each glittering light could be a world not unlike Aetheris, a world filled with life. So many stars, so many lives. For us, there may be no higher purpose than to live for our world. But what of the other living beings out there? What yeah. is it that gives their lives meaning, that drives them day after day after day? The greatest existential question ever. To pose that question to our undiscovered cousins, I created beings of dynamis, who can traverse the vast emptiness between the stars. Meteon and her sisters. Where are her sisters? I, sisters. She has a great many of them, and they have already departed on their journey, traveling to one star and then the next in search of life. And I guess eventually she'll make that journey too? As one might expect, exploration on such a grand scale is rife with difficulties, and thus far I've naught to show for it. But I have faith that we will make some manner of discovery ere long. And when we do, I should be glad to share our findings with you, in gratitude for your kindness. Glad we could help. It's getting rather late. We had best find our beds. It would not do for both of us to be sleep deprived on the morrow. Of course. Come, Meteon. Let us head back. All right. Yeah, come on over. Oh. What stopped her in her tracks? An island far away. You want to see if you can reach it someday? And maybe even further beyond? Yeah, it could very well be foreshadowing. So we'll take our 488,000 experience points and 1,438 gil. Alright, so we've returned here and more quests are now available in and around the various places in the Elpis territory. So yeah, we will have no shortage of things to do in the afternoon, but we'll go ahead and do one more main story quest for now. So let's go ahead and speak with Hermes. Who knows, we might have, we might get one or even two. So let's go ahead and speak with Hermes to take on the next level 86 main story quest entitled Verdict and Execution. Hermes appears solemn and sorrowful, which means it all too brief interview, perhaps, but it is a time that I attend to my next task. As Emmett Selk and Hathaday are so aware, we reached a verdict regarding the fate of the Lycons. Seven were created for observation. And all seven must be unmade. Doros has followed the correct protocols and as chief overseer, I can find no fault in his judgment. The Lycons would disrupt the natural order, ravaging and consuming other species until they themselves starve and perish. 
They cannot be released into the wild and they cannot be allowed to remain here in Elpis. I intend to petition the Bureau of the Architects to have the concept preserved as a restricted purpose hazardous life form. And Thlodius has pledged to support me in this endeavor. Yet whatever the Bureau decides, the existing Lycons have served that purpose. And so they are gone. Doros has already isolated the creatures and is preparing to carry out the necessary measures. I will join him forthwith. It is my duty to witness the conclusion to this study. If you are resolved, then we have but to accompany you. Of course, let us be off then. We return to the main aisle. Alright, back to the primary hub it is. Back to Anagnorsis. Alright, so upon our return... Oh, oh, oh. They didn't go as far away as I was thinking. Oh, we're in the neighborhood. Uh, there is another one, but it's probably all the way somewhere else. Yeah, if there's another area over there, which there is, we'll have to go there instead for the next state of currents. Yeah, this place is expansive. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't be surprised this is a one area territory. Yeah, th thanks Family Guy for forever making that um, slogan a meme. Okay. Well, here are the fruits of the labor right here. Doros. Doros, are you hurt? What happened here? They... They caught me off guard. I had them bound with ethereal shackles, but they became frenzied even more so than usual and broke free. Uh-oh. I was able to stop four. The other three escaped. Where do they go? I see them. Two have taken to the air above the Twelve Wonders. Oh, great. And then the Sognos is the third. The lost is up ahead, lurking in the fields. You and Rika handled that one. The pair in the sky you can leave to me. Alright. If this is how it must end, then so be it. I will render assistance to Emmett Sulk, unneeded though it is. Yeah, and in the meantime... Meteon, you ought to stay here with Doros. But Hermes! No, this is too dangerous. The Lycons must be reverted. I would spare you their pain and mine. Yeah, sad face. This is my burden, not yours. But if you are intent on helping, then please follow my lead. Lead on, then. Yeah, get yourself some first aid there, Doros. Yeah, now we have danger music being played. Yeah, let's do what has to be done. Yeah, there's that one. How do we deal with it? Yeah, I mean, I can use my jump ability as a dragoon. I appreciate your help and lament that it is necessary. There it is, our quarry, within striking distance at present, but it feels threatened, and it may well flee beyond our reach. Here is my plan. You will approach slowly, in full view, and draw the Lycon's attention. Now I warn you, its abilities are as fiery as its temperament. Once it spots you, it will unleash orbs of flame. But fear not. By my measure, you are more than equal to the task. Withstand the onslaught for a few brief moments, and that will give me time to catch it unawares. Ready? Then let us begin. So, get in the purple circle. And take on the 
fire ether. Everything you got, leave nothing out, hold nothing back. Yeah, can it be stunned? It can be stunned. That's good news for us. Whoa! And then get another one. And keep on going until this thing is put out. And it's extinguished. Now here comes more. Yeah, let me show you what I can do there, Hermes. Yeah, I bring the Star Diver power. We slip away from that danger. And take care of that. Oh, gotta keep moving. Got to keep moving. And take this. All right, stand in front of the Lycon and get its attention. Oh, right here. Stand your ground, Rika. Now. Go for it, Hermes. Ooh, you have a fancy medical staff. Nice shot. Yeah, I guess this is why you're so compassionate. Forgive me. Please, forgive me. Yeah, this is really May eating him inside. And your kin find peace. Wherever your souls may drift in the underworld, may you find tranquil seas. Meanwhile, here comes the rest of our crew. Yeah, seeing Hermes. Not forgotten, in concept endure. To reclaim form and one day live again. Serve not the star, or any purpose save your own. Live again, if that be your desire. Yeah, this really hurts him. Yeah. Emmett Salk doesn't care at all. Eight. Hermes cares if too that much. Be your want, we are worthy. But leave your suffering behind. Lay down your burdens. Be born anew. Fly high. Fly free. And away it goes. As he sadly puts it out of his misery. Oh, that's a clever reference. Yeah. Snap out of it! Join the convocation, Hermes. Oh, putting the offer on the table again. You do not belong here. That why you want him so bad? Leave to replace another. To be replaced. It changes nothing. Tell me, do you think it right that we sacrifice all these lives for the sake of the star? And when the star has reached perfection, what then? If all who are satisfied choose to die, shall we all die in satisfaction? Yeah, he's finally taking it all out. I do not know. Were I to take up the seat of Van Daniel, it would be tantamount to approving my predecessor's death. I do not know if it is right. And to be torn by such thoughts. I do not know if I am fit to represent mankind. Hey, if Emma can do it, so can you. Hermes! Please don't be angry. Yeah, whenever Meaty's around, me. he always calms down. If you would still consider me in spite of everything, I beg some time to gather my thoughts. 
Meanwhile, Hithlidaeus, I fear I must trouble you to attend to the others. I believe you can do it that. no trouble at all. Take as long as you require. And as for me? And you, my friend. I pray you find that which you seek. I hope so too. Yeah, it's the only thing that can calm him down is Medion. I Medeon. expect we have some few matters to discuss. Shall we return to the Twelve Wonders for a time? Sure. Aye. Yeah, away we, away we all go. Also, is that finally warming up to me? Yeah, I think the dream may still be out on that, but hey, at least we may be making progress. Alright, back here. So, let's go ahead and speak with Hammond again to complete the quest. So yeah, I think we may have time for another main story quest. The other Lycons have been taken care of. The incident is resolved, and life in Elpis continues as normal. All ends, as the case may be. Rationally speaking, I understand Hermes' arguments. No matter how well deserved the rest, there's a pang of sadness when a colleague leaves us. Yet never has the departure caused me such grief as Hermes appears to feel. What must it be like to experience such torment? Hard to say, but we'll take our experience, 1,102 gil, plus a pair of 86 gauntlets. And then we'll pass things over to Hathaleus to take on the next level. Oh, now we're going up to 87. Okay. So yeah, we've reached that point where we are out of the 86s and now into the 87s. I was expecting another quest or two that we might have that situation, but yeah. I think, actually, we will go ahead and stop things for now. It feels like this is the proper milestone to be at that point, and so now that all these side quests have been available, made both at the Twelve Wonders and also down here at the Anagnorsis, we certainly have a lot of opportunities to take care of a lot of side quests during the afternoon. And so, with all that, we will go ahead and take a break for now, and later on we will head on and see just how we can help out the various people here with the things that they are doing. But yeah, 87 things are getting serious. They certainly are. And so, I will see you guys back here later this afternoon as we continue on with the main story because, yeah, no matter what happens, the very next quest that I complete as a Dragoon, I will be officially at level 89. So, with all that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV and Walker live here on Twitch. See you guys later this afternoon as we see how we can help out the people of Elpis. So, thank you very much everyone for watching, and until next time everyone, may you ever walk in the light of the crystal.